Hi guys and welcome back to our Terraria Let's Play series. Last episode we finished uh, building our forest base here. Oh, well we finished the outside of it if you remember. And uh, while I've been off camera I've gone ahead and just built a few other bases. Um, not massive as you can see they're nowhere near the size of our forest base. Uh, but I tried to make them look uh, semi cool. So we got our snow biome here which I kind of made like a little, little dome igloo kind of vibe going on. Uh, and then we've got our ocean over here. So with our ocean biome, um, like I said I was going to do in a previous episode, I've started making um, chests here for quest items. So we've got a sky island one here, underground uh, fish here, and then the mushroom fish over here. So we don't, we shouldn't need to uh, do quests for those. Every time a new quest comes up, I've just been gathering up the, uh, the fish for it. I think you can get is it 10 per row here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so 10. I've just been getting 10 of each. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so yeah, that's that's uh, that one. And then if we head over to the desert. This one was a bit of a quick job. Um, there was a goblin army happening while I was doing this. Um, so it's a bit sloppy, but yeah. Uh, this one's just for sort of housing purposes. We may revisit this one at some point. We'll see. Uh, and then there's the jungle one tried using some of the new uh new 1.4 features so we've got kind of a bamboo vibe going here i thought it looked pretty cool so we've gone with that and then underground i haven't actually made the underground base yet but what i have done is make a mimic farm slash soul farm as well which we're going to be using once we go into hard mode uh, and that's basically what this episode is going to be we're kind of um we're setting up for going into hard mode now so next episode if not the end of this episode, we'll, we will be we'll be moving into hard mode. So, the things we need to do before we go into hard mode are basically... Well, actually, we're pretty much done, to be honest. Uh, we have a load of fishing stuff ready to go straight for um, ores. Uh, I have all the things I need well, that I can get in easy mode for the ank charm, which is something we're going to be trying to get quite early on. So I think the only thing really uh, that I can get at this point is the Nazar and the uh, the Bazaar. So that's over here. I think we've got both of those. So we've got both the Nazar and the Bazaar. Um, everything else really is stuff we're going to have to get in hard mode. Um, I've got these crates here. That I'm hoping there's going to be some bait in there that I can use, but uh, I haven't opened them yet. So yeah, the only other thing that I think we need to make is the um, ooh, the sword, the Night's Edge. Uh, ready for making true Night's Edge, and past that we'll be making the Terror Blade, and then past that we will be making the, uh, the Zenith. So yeah, first things first, we need to figure out what we need for that. So I'm pretty sure the first thing we're going to need is the Grass Blade. So I'm going to need a few more jungle spores. That shouldn't take me too long. Let's just pop over. Let's not fall down. Let's pop over to the jungle uh, and see if we can get a few of those. When we are in hard mode, we are going to be making our own underground jungle under our base. Um, I could do that now, but to be honest, I'd rather do that when I have to fight Plantera. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll be making an underground mushroom biome as well near us. So right now what we're going to do, let's just have a look for these... Uh, these spores we only need about nine of them i think we'll get a few more just in case but it looks like there might be some over to this left hand side so let's head over there there we go uh, i don't know if uh, harvesting with this will help us so we got three off of that that's not too bad let's uh, kill this try not to die to the hornet down there Okay, yeah, let's grab this uh, real quick. So we've got another two. We're doing pretty well. Nothing in there. We already looked. Uh, let's let's try not to die. Uh, we'll go this way. Um, so yeah, for the night's edge, we need the grass blade, which is what we're gathering materials for now. We're gonna need the butcher's blade, which I think we already made when we got our first bit of uh, crimtain. And we also need the Muramaza, which we got in the dungeon. And there's one more, and it's escaping me, and I can't think of what it is. Oh, the Great Fiery Blade, that's right. So we're going to need to go and get some um, some Crimtain Ore as well. Not Crimtain Ore, Hellstone. 
So we'll go and do that. Uh, let's just grab these. So we're up to 13 now. So let's just get a few more uh, down here. Okay, cool. Right, let's head back. And we'll see if we can make that now. So the other thing we need is stingers. So let's get those. Where are they? Let's get the rest of these. In fact, we should be able to just see it here, I think. Yeah, okay, so there's the blade of grass. Ooh, look, we can also make an ivy whip and a snap thorn. Cool. Uh, but we're not doing summoner, so it's not going to make much difference. So let's go ahead and uh, make this blade of grass. Okay. And we'll go ahead and put that with our butcher. So let's get those two. The Muramaza. And I don't think we have any Hellstone anymore. What am I doing? Yeah, so we need to go and get ourselves some Hellstone. So what I'll do, guys, I think we have... Um, we've definitely got some. Somewhere. Oh, yeah, my buff. My potions chest down here. Yeah, okay, so we've got an Obsidian Skin Potion. What I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to use this real quick. I'm going to pop down to Hell and get us some... Uh, some Hellstone, and then I'll be back, and we'll go ahead and make the Knight's Edge, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and got us some uh, Hellstone here. Uh, I'm just going to stack to chest right now, just so I can clear my inventory. Uh, and I'm pretty sure before we had some Obsidian saved up, I think it's in here. Yep, there it is. So let's see if we can go ahead and make a load of this. Okay, and then we need the Great, or the Fiery Great Sword. We'll do that. We'll store the rest of the uh, the hellstone. So I think we're now in this chest. Uh, yeah, that'll do. So let's go ahead. We need to forge these on a demon altar. And let's just quickly check to see if we have any of those nearby. We've got this over here. So we'll probably just head over to the left, uh, and we'll use um, we'll use one of the altars over here. So for those of you who are sort of new to the game or don't really know what's uh, going on, basically one of the uh, the Zenith, which is the end game sword now in 1.4, uses um, the Terror Blade, which uses the true. No, yeah, which uses the true Knight's Edge and the true Excalibur. And the true Knight's Edge is uh, made using Knight's Edge. And Knight's Edge is made using these four swords. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. There it is. Cool. So uh, let's head on back to base. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put that in our weapons chest for now since we're probably not going to touch it again for a while. Okay. All right. Now, there's almost certainly something that I have forgotten prior to going into hard mode. But uh, to be honest, I'm kind of at the point now where we need to get progressing. So what I'm going to do... Uh, the things we need to do now, we need to go down to hell and we need to make ourselves a massive platform. Um, oh, actually, I just thought something else that we need. We didn't get the summon, uh, summoning station from the dungeon. So we will probably go ahead and get that. I might get that off camera, actually, uh, just because we've already been in the dungeon and we got everything else we needed from there. So what we'll do, I will quickly uh, go grab that, guys, if I can find one. And then the next thing we need to do, we need to go down, we need to make a massive platform, and we're going to collect ourselves a load of um, guide voodoo dolls. Um, we'll probably get around maybe 10. Uh, and then, yeah, time to do a load of wall of flesh killing, I think. So that should be good. So I will see you guys once I have done all of that. Okay, guys, so we went ahead and got ourselves a summoning station from the dungeon, which I put... Down here. Sorry, forgot where I put it. And we also got ourselves some guide voodoo dolls. And I've gone ahead and made myself a big old hell platform here. I'm not going to make it too big. Hopefully it won't take us too long with our star cannon. We have 623 stars now, which is more than enough. In fact, it should be enough for three of these. We'll see. If not, then I might go ahead and buy myself some uh, unholy arrows from the gunsmith. Um, at night time, which comes around in about 30 seconds. But before we go and do that, we need to gear up. We still have some of our building accessories on. So let's go ahead and swap out some of those. So we'll take off the extendo grip. We'll put on a shark tooth necklace. 
and I think we'll also hmm. let's see we haven't actually picked up many accessories early game we could go for a band of regen I don't think that'll help us too much though the warding shackles pretty good let's just go for the lucky um the lucky band of regen if we can hit some some better crits on this. It's got 31% crit chance now, so one in three shots nearly is going to be a crit. Let's go ahead and re-roll um, some of that. So, go to the Goblin Tinkerer. Let's see what we can get on our Shark Tooth Necklace. Arcane, no, no. Menacing, yeah, okay. Uh, we can re-roll this guy. Quick. Menacing, sure. Uh, we can re-roll this guy. Menacing, sure. Okay, we're doing pretty well here, apparently. And uh, we'll reroll the boots. Um, we will upgrade these eventually, but we can't right now, I don't think. Or can we? Ooh, actually, let's just go and double check that, guys. I think we might be able to upgrade these. Oh, no, wait. We don't have a lava charm. Okay, we're not going to reroll those just because it costs quite a lot of money at this point, and uh, I don't think it's worth it, really. So. We're, yeah, we're an idiot. Uh, we're doing a lot more damage now. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some buffs as well. Oh, we had our Brain of Cthulhu, actually. Let's put that on instead of the Band of Regen. Uh, and that's warding, so that's going to give us a bit more uh, protection. Let's go ahead and put away the Band of Regen. I totally forgot we had that, guys. Oh, my God. It's just been sitting in my inventory for ages. Uh, right. Let's go ahead and see what we can make in terms of buffs. So we're going to want a Regen. We'll get ourselves a Swiftness Potion and an Iron Skin. And then, in fact, let's get two of these. I don't know how quickly we're going to be able to kill this guy. Uh, so there's that. Uh, do we need anything else here? Yeah, let's get an endurance potion. Why not? I think that's probably it. Uh, and then what we'll do, we'll hit our summoner station here. Like so. And, oh yeah, the ammo. I don't know if this works on the star cannon, but we might as well. Uh, so let's head down to hell guys, and we'll see if we can do this fight now So I'll see you in a bit once we're at the end of our platform Okay guys, so we're just going up to the end of our little pier here uh, I'm gonna try and Tempt this slime over the edge and we'll go ahead and we'll just start this fight I did go back actually and get a few more buff potions So we've now got some archery potions and I also made some seafood dinners just so we get our major improvements to all uh, all of our stats so we should be good. Uh, so I guess the only thing left to do now is to start the fight. Let's go ahead and do it and see how well we can uh, achieve this. So we've got our star cannon here, our hasty star cannon. Uh, I kind of want to be able to see the, uh, the thing, so let's just go ahead and move a bit closer. We'll watch our health a bit. Let's move back and heal up early on here. Yeah, he does a fair amount of damage. Uh, we don't want to get hit by his laser, if at all possible. So he's on half HP now. Let's keep going. So it's about two thirds done now. Let's try not to get hit. We're getting a bit low on HP, so I'm just going to back up a bit here. Oh, lordy. Yeah, let's uh, leg it a bit, guys, actually. Coming in clutch there with the... Uh... Whoa, okay. Yeah, I took a bit more damage than expected, I think. So let's just back it all the way up. Until we can get our heal off. We are so low! Oh, no! Let's just fire back and see if we can get any hits. Okay, we can heal up here. Another dodge coming in clutch. All right, let's keep going. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm not sure we're going to be able to do this. We'll keep going, but it's looking dodge. Ah, oh, damn it. So that was a bit of an unfortunate first fight, guys. But when I, uh, when I look back on that, I realized we didn't even buff up. We didn't even use any of our buffs there, which was really annoying because we just wasted a load of stars. Oh. But there we go. I think that's the first time we died the first time to a boss. Um, kind of annoying, and he's still here for some reason. I don't think I can... Uh, I don't think I can go down at the moment and actually pick up the stuff. Uh, but yeah, that was really stupid. Um, 
I can't believe we didn't buff during that. You guys are probably going to be going crazy when you realise that uh, I did that before fight. I didn't know I put the buffs on before fighting, but hey-ho, there we go. Uh, so we're going to go try to do that again. Um, this time with the buffs on, obviously. Um, and hopefully we can do it. I don't know. The guide has respawned, so that should be fine. Um, we may only be able to kill him once now since we wasted so many stars on that fight. Uh, but uh, we'll see. So I'm going to head down here. I'll head back to the end, guys, and uh, I'll wait for this um, boss to clear. In fact, I wonder if I can uh, save quit. I'll just save quit here, guys, and see if it goes away. Okay, guys, so the uh, the save and quit, or the, not the save and quit, the quit and restart works. So we're going to go ahead here and we'll buff up this time uh, and see if we can do any better. So let's go ahead and... Get some nice early hits off. We'll try and avoid the lasers as much as possible this time. Looks like we've got a demon there as well, annoyingly. Ooh, okay. So yeah, this time we're only taking like 21 damage to those lasers, whereas before I think it was like maybe 50 that we were taking. So there he goes, on half HP now. Let's keep rolling back. Yeah, much better, guys. Much better. Oh, I can't believe we didn't buff the first time. We've got a heal still. In fact, let's heal now. Yeah, we can just face tank it now, actually. There we go. So we got 106 arrows. I mean, not arrows, sorry. Um, oh, stars. So we used a lot of stars. We would have been able to do it twice if we hadn't... Uh, we might have even been able to do it three times if we didn't mess up that first fight. What we'll do, we do have a load of unholy arrows, uh, and we do have our, our archery potion buff going. So this is actually doing a fair amount. We're on 59 ranged. Um, I know this does 75, but, you know, this is up to 34% crit chance. It's got 5% crit chance. I just have to get in a bit closer. So we are going to try and do this again real quick. I don't know if we have to guide. It's 12.02 p.m. Do we have to guide? No, so the guide's not back. So I don't know if the guide's going to respawn soon. Hopefully he will. Um guess we'll just wait and see so we'll wait for a bit guys if he does respawn i'll restart if not you'll see me back in base in a bit all right okay guys so i waited for a bit and the guy still hasn't spawned back in so i've come back up um and we got ourselves the wall of flesh uh, treasure bag here so we should get a trophy we also got a wall of flesh uh trophy sorry we're gonna get a relic from the bag so we're actually gonna put the trophy underneath like that i think on all of these we maybe put it above actually looks like there might be more room we'll see um so let's open this and see what we get. So we've got the laser rifle, we've got a warrior emblem, and a demon heart. So let's go ahead and use that demon heart. Uh, so we've got an extra accessory slot here. What I'm going to do to begin with is just... Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use the band of regen that we already have. And then I think at some point we'll go down. We have our underground uh, mimic farm right here. So we've got to see what's happening uh, over here and whether or not we've got... So oh, this is so not good, guys. We actually hit... A crimson biome has hit us underneath here, it looks like. So that's really not good. These NPCs are probably going to move out. We're going to have to do something about that fairly pronto, I'd assume. Uh, yeah, so we're going to have to go down and sort that out at some point. Um, so we won't do that now. What we need to do now is uh, fish up some resources. Um, I'll probably do that next episode since uh, we've spent a fair bit of time. This episode might be a bit shorter than usual. It's just because I've been trying to sort some stuff out uh, off camera. But uh, yeah. Let's just store this stuff. I'm not going to be using the laser rifle right now, I don't think. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave that in there. So, I'll, get, I'll keep hold of all this stuff, guys. What we need to do now, like I said, it's time to fish up everything we have. So, uh, I'll see you guys next episode, and we'll go on an absolute fishing spree, which, obviously, I'll be doing probably off-camera most of the time because it's going to be about an hour and a half of just solid fishing. So, uh, yeah, until then, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.